Hi everyone, welcome back to Java One for All. And in this video, we are going to see how we can download and understand a little bit how the versioning works for the JDK. Just a quick recap. In the previous video, we spoke about how Java, it's a programming language that is compiled and uh, it will be interpreted by the Java virtual machine. And then at this point, you know that the source the input is the bytecode, the dot class, and then the output from the Java virtual machine is one of the languages that the operating system will understand. So what we are going to do now is download the JDK, Java Development Kit. But before that, a little bit of history because this is quite important. So you can see here from this table that we do have uh, some changes starting from Java 9. Before Java 9, the releases used to take a lot. So for example, from five to six, two years, but then from six uh, to seven, five years, and then uh, three years to eight, then three years to kind of three years to nine, and then after nine, basically every six months. So why did they decide to do these changes? Java is a language that has a strong convention. So we have something called JCP, Java Community Process, that takes care of what will be part of the language itself. So it used to take a really long time to decide what's going to be a part of Java or not. And we were uh, staying behind the new technologies. So, for example, as you know, we have a language called Kotlin that was developed uh, recently that basically works with a Java virtual machine because you can see here that the input of the virtual machine, it is a bytecode. So, if you can develop a language that the bytecode will be uh, compiled uh, from any source, could be Java, could be Groovy, could be Kotlin, as long as the, the output of your language is the bytecode, you can develop a, a, a language that can be used in the Java virtual machine. That's what the Kotlin recently did. And they basically are trying to provide the functionalities that they think that are missing in Java. So because of uh, things like this, the, they decided, okay, let's then start a quicker development process. So after Java 9, they are releasing a new version basically every six months. So doing this, they can introduce new features, they can get feedback, and then they can decide if it's worth it to keep improving or if they should kind of remove from the language. So after these changes, uh, we had one small problem. So what will happen to the companies? Because big companies, they, they are not really big fan of up, up updating the, the, their code, their uh, resource. And then we faced a small problem because nobody would like to update. We are talking about companies that they have millions of lines of code. That's quite difficult to make sure that everything's running fine in new versions. So what happens is that now we have what we call long-term support. Basically, long-term support means that that specific version will be supported for maybe three years, four years, it depends. In Java, we are talking about three years. And the long-term support, the currently one, is Java 11. So basically, the companies, they are migrating from Java 8 to Java 11. And then the next one will be Java 17, will be the next long-term support. So it will be a huge leap between 11 and 17 and lots and lots of new functionalities that are improving every six months. That's making Java uh, even better. So uh, what we're going to do in this video is install the latest one, that is the 15. But bear in mind that when you go into a company, the chances that you will be working with 11 or 8 are pretty high. So with that in mind, uh, I will do my best so we can see the differences like uh, from 11, uh, sorry, from 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, 
and maybe depending on when this course is finished, the 16. Let's then uh, download the JDK. As you know, we needed the JDK to compile our source code and then to have the Java virtual machine as well and run our bytecode. Just type on Google, download JDK 15 and the first link from Oracle. So you have different types of vendors. So we have Oracle, we have OpenJDK, for example, and actually the version that you are installing, the vendor doesn't really matter for us. Uh, there are some little details that if we were an enterprise company, uh, we would need to take care of, but for us, uh, definitely it doesn't matter. So what we are going to do is just go to the first link. And if we scroll down a little bit, this link, you will see <clears throat> that we have the long-term support, Java 11, that we could download. And then the Java 8, as you can see, Java 9 and 10 is pretty hard to find. You have to specifically type that on Google. And what we are going to do is download the version 15. Just click on JDK download. It, it used to ask to log in. I don't see anything now. I think they changed. And now we have to download the right version. So remember that I said here in this uh, diagram that you have to create a Java virtual machine, sorry, download the Java virtual machine for your operating system. This is what I was talking about. So in my case, I'm running on Windows. You can check in this PC what version it is, 64 bits. I will download this version, Windows 64 installer. And then after it finishes, I will just open the file. Click on yes. Next. Just bear in mind the, the place where this is going to be downloaded, uh, sorry, installed, because uh, we are going to need this later. And just click next. So once it installed, we can go to the Explorer, just search for this PC. In my case, I installed on C, partition, program files, Java, and you can see here that we have JDK uh, 15. So pretty straightforward. We are not going to go into details right now because there are some conventions we need to know when we are installing Java. So we just installed but there are some conventions to configure it. So you won't have any problems when you install different technologies that rely, uh, technology that rely on Java. So let's do that in the next video. Let's stop for now because it's all information for one uh, video. See you in the next video. Bye.